and this is Diversify with Jermaine and George. Realize we started. This is Feminists, the only film podcast for ladies and feminists. This is Conservafilm, the only American podcast for liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. And this is real values. My fellow cinephiles, last night was a sad night. Let's see show begin. So, race was front and center at the Oscars this year. We here at the Academy Awards would just like everyone to know we are not a racist organization. <gasps> I mean, we're not Cut saying over. that Cut white culture is not at all. But Bradley Cooper, I mean, look at that guy. I mean, I'm sorry, but he, he's just, he deserves an Oscar. I'm truly devastated that Bernadette Claudette did not win for a performance in that phone number movie. Hello? Six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Oh, calling me! <laughs> I am proud that she decided to take a stand while presenting the Lifetime Achievement Award to Bradley Cooper, who is 40. I would now like to take this time to single-handedly end racism. I am not leaving the stage till every ounce of hatred is eliminated from this earth. Now, I'm not moving. You can play your music. I'm not moving. She stood her ground. And the Meryl Streep Award goes to... Glenn Close. Glenn Close. Not to be insensitive about her loss, but can we talk about the good news? People are finally accepting her talent. I'm talking about Amanda Justice, of course. <sighs> She's kind of a hero of mine. Vagina. Never stop believing in yours. Even when the studio tells you, no, Amanda, we can't release a film called Vagina. Can't we just call it by the book's original title? And you point like this. And you say, okay, I guess 8675309 is a perfectly reasonable title. And this year's Inconvenient Untruth Award goes to a film cleverly disguised as a heartwarming tale. That film is Intelligent Graphic Design. My mission is simple. Bring proper format design to conservative propaganda. That's it. Why do we need Obama's Antichrist in each quarter? Because it's true, Obama's Antichrist. But wouldn't just one be sufficient? No, I mean, the more you say it, the more true it is. And I'm definitely not sexually attracted to my guns. And now we've come to the section we like to call Gun to the Head. And uh, Matt right here, he's an expert, a certified expert actually. Next. First film we have is American Boyhood. I don't know if I can do this anymore. You need to grow up! Why would I want to do that? Stop it, you're hurting He's him! He's fine, save, save! Dad, I don't want to be a sniper. You're as good as gay to me, boyhood. I'm gay too. Or, in English Please, starring the incredibly eclectic Benedict Cumberbatch and the black white paste, Iggy Azalea. Say it with me. I. E no, no. You have to pronounce it. Just like you would the letter I. Can you think of the letter? K. Let's give it another go. Are you fucking? 
fucking serious, pound do even it's pronounced I. Yo, teach. In Australia, life is rough for us white kids. Now say it with me. Honestly, neither of them are worth my time. I mean, I would rather not live in a world where some bullshit from Michael Haneke doesn't win Best Foreign Film. No! Did you see the new Diablo Cody film? I just understand what's wrong with you. I just don't get you. Everything you say to me brings me like one step closer to the edge, and I'm like about to break. That feminazi? Absolutely not. And before we sign off for a night, we're legally obligated to present this message from our sponsor. Great. Outback. Because where else are you going to get $4.99 Bloomin' Onions?